You can't eat burnt like this, can you? I'm it's, going to, but you're not supposed to, right? very bad, yeah. yeah. We're gonna deep fry one strip out of this package 50 times. One strip is gonna get deep fried 50 times, but we're not gonna batter it in deep fry. We've battered and deep fried something 50 times before. We've battered and deep fried a double cheese. We've battered and deep fried uh, chicken. Here it is. What do you think it's gonna look like at the end? I think it's gonna look like a little black square. I th think it's gonna look like a strip of bacon? Yes, I have faith. It'll I still would, look, it'll maintain form, it'll I, still look like bacon? I did choose thick, thick cut. Thick cut, I noticed that. I thick chose cut. thick cut for endurance. Endurance. This strip needs to go the bout. I honestly think it'll look like this at the end, this cap right here. You think it'll be charred? Is a bacon strip's life better or worse than a human's? We don't know. Also, we know. Out for of sure worse. How far do we go? Do we go to the point where- All the way, baby. So what do we All go- All the way. Like to disintegration in the pot. Like, we are going to destroy this bacon strip. What if it I don't think place. it'll last. If it lasts 50 deep fries, then that's cool. If it doesn't last 50 deep fries, then that's cool also. Let's choose a good strip here. Right. This guy's already- Are you a crazy person? Yes, you are. Let it be known. This is the strip. No That's a 49 gram strip. Is that real? How does that work? How does weed, how does weed not turn out to that? Just put oh, on <laughs> This guy is stoned. What did you do, chug your THC drink before we start? Yo, did get up every day. Don't do this at home. If you are gonna do this at home, you better be starting a channel. And if you're starting a channel, that means you got beef with me. You got beef with me, I'm gonna settle the score equally. Take you on Jerry Springer and beat your ass legally. So we got two pots going over here so that we can deep fry in one and then deep fry in the other. Uh, I know that doesn't sound like we would be doing uh, doubling the deep frying there, but things will just move faster. This is lower oil. So for the f going in raw, opposed to having more oil, if there's overflow, mm -hmm. we can compensate. Th once the bacon strip has cooked from raw, reduced its grease, we can go into the larger pot for massive batch. This is gonna be the rapid fire guy. I also don't understand the logic or the explanation, but I trust in him, so. <laughs> Shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. With lots of great topics to explore, such as film and video, photography, and graphic design. Little known fact about me, I used to be a teacher. I started this channel back in 2010 with no experience in production whatsoever. I learned the hard way by making mistakes and searching out tutorials on YouTube. Fast forward to 2021 and Skillshare is a class by Marquez Brownlee on YouTube success. Script, shoot and edit with MKBHD. This type of learning opportunity would have been great when I first started Epic Meal Time. Instead, I just got lucky by throwing some fast food on a pizza. That just sounds like the type of video you make with no plan. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. I am hyped to say right now that we have a special offer the first 1000 subscribers who click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare so you can explore your creativity click in the link in the description one mother sucking strip of bacon take it to the next level by deep frying it to oblivion and i ain't even talking about uriel septum the seventh but we still making moves in the kitchen all day, Drick. Have you ever wanted to be a god have you ever wanted to feel the energy of the heavens course through your veins then come with us it breaks immortality. That is, that is particularly violent. That's the first deep fry right there. Tell him. That's a, edible, eh? I think you could probably eat that. It smells awesome. That looks like the fastest way you can cook bacon. That's like a 20 second strip. It smells really good. That's this is fine. how I like bacon. So I don't know. Let's how just long. call it right here. Next time we eat a roast beef sandwich with mayonnaise. This is the second deep fry. We're gonna start clocking again. Yeah, so how many times, how many times are I gonna start getting fried? I'm gonna see if it can last 20 seconds. So let's do it. 20 seconds around. 20 seconds around, this is the second deep fry. I'm excited. You still agree, Amir, that it'll, it'll be a, a strip or what? Uh, no, I don't think this will survive. Okay. But it, if it does. It's gonna be delicious. That's number three. We gotta write this down. 
That's the third time. It looks significantly different. Still looks delicious right now. Yeah, this is like reverse penis. I'm sorry, what do you mean by that? Um, I understand now. It's like a boner, but it's shrinking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is reverse penis. It started off really... We're doing research. It, it, ah, it, yes, just as we hypothesized. The bacon has reverse penis. <laughs> well, it makes sense. Because it started off really big. And now it's reverse penis. It's just shrinking, I think. We'll just say that. Imagine they tell us all along like we've been eating pig dick. We probably do in hot dogs. I don't doubt I've eaten pig dick. We've touched so much pork products, we have definitely consumed pig dick at some point. Yeah, there's definitely cow's vagina in, uh, in burgers. We've had cow <coughs> burgers and we've had pig penis in, in hot dogs. And that's only number four. That one burked it. Okay, that one, it's much smaller now after that last round. Right, it's gonna be a little charred ball. Is this oil just as hot as it was before? Do we have to change it? The oil is definitely hot. Oh my God, it's changing a lot though. Yeah, it's, turning, it's changing a lot. I think it's turning purple. It's really, I've never seen bacon look like that, actually. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Might bite you. Ah! Oof, it almost shattered when I did that. Uh, wait, you think this is Samuel Jackson over here? I don't understand. I know there is an accurate reference, but I don't understand. What is it? Glass. Oh, glass. Okay. <laughs> I found this at Walmart. Could, could, could save the episode. What is that? So you want to share a chocolate bar on every meal time? Between the three of us, yeah, why not? Okay, wrap it in bacon and let's throw it in there for an hour. Okay. And look, look, if you flip it over, you can see what's under the hood. You can see like what you're going to get. <laughs> you can see what's <laughs> under the hood. <laughs> Should we wrap it in bacon? Or yeah, just... we're going to wrap it in bacon, put it in this master pot. And we're going to put them in there for as long as we think it's safe and not safe. We're rolling this chocolate bar up in bacon like we were twisting up a blunt. The type of blunt you twist before you make a warm bath for yourself. Maybe you read some high fantasy. Maybe you read some fantasy high. Maybe you beat off. I don't know. But either way, that blunt is getting smoked. We're deep frying that bacon wrapped chocolate bar for an hour, bro. Unless it can't. Are you use that piece of wood going in there too? Yeah, it's just to keep the bacon secured. Okay, okay. He did it. The fuck <coughs> bad man did it. This is almost worse than a kid. You literally have to watch it for an hour because you can't like just go take a <coughs> and go for a <coughs> Something bad could happen. Like you can turn your back on this, it can set your house on fire. It's a little mesmerizing though. It's like watching a fountain at the Bellagio. The oil is You can like, smell it. You yeah, can smell it. It's, it's released. The oil is chocolate now. It's deep frying in chocolate oil. Nothing survived. I wonder what the bacon's gonna taste like now that the oil is like chocolate. Chocolified. Peanut butter. That, that's it. Look at those peanut butter bubbles. Okay, so we're gonna leave that in there for an hour. We have a timer, I hope. I'm bored of that one now. Look what's happening. Yeah, you're right. Look at that. That, that oil there is getting all chocolate up. We're going to take this thing out. There's going to be nothing inside the bacon. <laughs> Look, the oil's f***ing <coughs> hot. Bacon's resilient. As it should nothing. be. Like, I didn't know that's, that's how it works. Like, so are we taking the bacon out? It's going to be a pork rind soon. Are we taking that bacon out? I mean, it only went seven times. <laughs> <It's> <coughs> I bet it's still good. He's still alive, getting darker and darker, but... Oh, it smells burnt now, though. Yeah. There's yeah, something in there. That's a Reese's piece trying you see to survive. That? Yeah, I saw. It's speaking. He's, he's leaking out. It's literally going... Get, grab that. Put your finger. You want that drip. He's going... You want me to get that drip? <laughs> that you think I should get that drip? 400 degree drip on your finger. Oh, shit. There's some orange speck in there. If you can catch it on the camera, there's some orange... Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> there's some orange speck. It's literally the entire chocolate bar in a drop. Okay, it's going back in. Touch it, yeah, touch it. Look at it, you'll get the entire chocolate bar. I, I want that oil yeah. soup, chocolate I, I'd oil rather, soup. Put it back in, let's put it back in a bit longer. Okay, come back in. I can't believe we wanted to do it for an hour. We're like, five minutes is good. 37 times. Okay, so this has been in there for an hour. Yeah. That's a bacon wrapped chocolate bar that's been in there for an hour. That's a deep fried chocolate bar. We deep fried a chocolate bar wrapped in bacon for an hour. Um, I'd love to tell you why. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. There's no more? There's another one. But is that how long it is? Yes. Why is it so smooth? There's no mystery f <laughs> piece in here? Ow! Be careful. I know. Ow! There's <laughs> grease leaking out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's another skewer. You told me there was two. I lied. You can't eat burnt like this, can you? I'm it's, going to, but you're not supposed no, to, it's right? It's very bad, yeah. yeah but is it bad in the same way that they're like, soda's bad for you? 
red meat's bad for you or is this bad like, like 40,000 cigarettes are bad for you yeah like don't don't eat charred stuff like this often okay so it's fine now right you're so you're eating coal pretty much come on now <laughs> It's fire. It's just eating <laughs> ash on a fire. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, that's a bit tasty, this one. Ah! Is that what carcinogens looks like? Yes. Let's see what happens. Okay. I was going to say, let's see if I could just break it. Okay. Maybe if I could just have one piece. Okay. I can't tell because some people almost eat their bacon like this. You tried it? You tasted a little bacon, eh? Know what it's like? What? Eating teeth. All right, well, good thing we got a backup over here. The Grand Mac. It's a Big Mac, but it has bigger patties. But we want something edible, so we're gonna, we're gonna deep fry the <laughs> out of this. I don't know if it'll make it to an hour, probably not. I don't know if it'll make it to 50 deep fries, probably not. But we are gonna bacon wrap it, right? Yeah. To at least protect it. It'll give it a protective casing, preserving the Big Mac inside. We're not gonna let it get burnt though. We're not gonna let it turn into that. Not like that. We're not gonna, we're not gonna let it get charred. Uh, we're gonna put it right to the edge before it becomes this. We cooked up some little crackhead things the first half of this meal, but now it's time we enjoy what we eat. We got ourselves a grand Big Mac. It's like a Big Mac except bigger patties. Not that big though. We also took it the extra mile by having it wrapped in bacon first. And we battered this bad boy like we were religious teachers and he was a bad boy. That's a Grand Big Mac wrapped in bacon and deep fried. Is it actually a Grand Big Mac or is it Grand Big Mac? We learned that if you deep fry stuff for too long in the kitchen then it's gonna taste like shit. That's royal loyal oil boiling. Shout out to my boy Ling. <laughs> For all the boils and goils. Oh, wow. There. Big Mac pot pie. Big Mac pot pie. You could probably eat that with a spoon. Big Mac pot pie. I, I was going to get a uh, spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they doing that? It's like <laughs> the bread. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is what I imagine the Big Mac tasted like, like in 1962. This is what Big Macs tasted like in their heyday. Before they cut all the, before they got rid of all the trans fats and stuff. Get it all. It is something you eat with a spoon. Use your finger on that. Don't let that, that, that guy disappear. It's so hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. I'm, we were there. I'm going to burn myself. A little bit, but it's going to be magical. I don't want magic. There you go. That's it. That's your bite. That's your bite. Go ahead. Stop thinking. This bite looks bad. No. Go, go. Yeah. Go. Stop trying to get high off of it. Does that not taste like a super Big Mac? Doesn't that taste like a super Big Mac? It tastes like Big Mac pudding. Oh, or that sounds grosser than what I described. Yeah. But or you like Big Mac pudding, right? It's not bad. I'm like gonna eat this scrape right here. Next week, Big Mac pudding. Big Mac pudding, hey baby. Today, you gotta get to the grocery store with me and Big Mac pudding. <laughs> uh. Uh. Don't tell me that doesn't taste like a special <laughs> Big Mac. Doesn't that taste like Big Mac in his heyday? I, I don't Before know. Before you were born. That's a Big Mac before you were born. It's like if a Big Mac was sold in a can. You're making it sound worse than I am. Are we eating different things? It's like a Big Mac was sold in a can. It's not that. <laughs> it, it will be. I promise you it will be. It's, it's oh. I don't understand in the heyday. You mean this is when Big Mac was their best? I'm more interested in this. If you went to 1973 and had a Big Mac, do you think that Big Mac would taste better than the Big Mac you get today? It's oh, like, more real ingredients, maybe? I'm a firm believer that if you went to McDonald's in 1973, the Big Mac, the French fries, even the Coca-Cola, all of it will taste better than when you get today. It's actually like a very scary meal. Like, if I came to somebody's house and I saw this, 
I would think some sort of creature came out of this food, like something hatched from it. I'm like, what are you eating, bro? He's like, oh, I'm just, you know, lak mash ma. Everything is hot. Never get a McDonald's burger this hot. Oi, brav. Next time we're going on a cunny hunt to munch on your mom's cunny crust. What am I doing? I don't even know anymore. Yo, guys, get the new bacon strip shirt, epicmealtime.com. Retro bacon shirts, we got a whole bunch of merch. Go get it.